Well, that took a serious turn from... <laughs> As many of you know, I really have not been a gigantic fan of the Cars franchise. Even though it wasn't the best, I still managed to find something to enjoy about the first Cars movie. It was a somewhat generic story, but it told it well and at least had a lot of heart to the idea. Oh yeah, and merchandising. And because it made so much money, they made a buttload of sequels and spinoffs. Cars 2 was a spy movie for some reason about the literal worst character in the franchise. And then they remade Cars, but in the air with planes. And then after that, they took the same kind of underdog story and made it about firefighting for some reason? Cars 3 looks to go back to what made the literal only part of this franchise good and focuses on McQueen again. And I did not expect to say this, but Cars 3 is a legitimately good movie. Like, still not near Pixar's best, but they definitely learned the mistakes of what made Cars work and what made literally everything else horrible. The movie story is done fairly well. I have always loved the idea of an aged athlete still attempting to compete. The movie's tone and story reminded me a lot of what I loved about Rocky Balboa and Creed. Focusing on McQueen's relationship with Doc won me over instantly because it felt like what Doc's character deserved with the death of Paul Newman. When they mentioned it in Cars 2, it felt forced and uncomfortable, so I'm glad they worked it in here with such passion and emotion. Hell, even Mater, who I always hated, managed to win me over since he was very well integrated to the story. If you managed to make Larry the Cable Guy not that annoying, you did something right. And as usual, the animation is absolutely stellar. Pixar knows how to push the envelope when it comes to the quality of their animation, and this continues to up the ante on just how good they can make movies look. It was the first time I watched a movie in the franchise and felt like they weren't trying to sell me something, rather literally wanting to just tell a good story. The main problem with the movie is, well, when it tries to be a comedy. The movie is at its best when the characters shut up and don't try to be funny, but rather focus on moving the story forward and allowing the gravitas of the situation to weigh on you. I'm not saying some comedic moments aren't enjoyable, but sometimes that they just went too far to make children laugh with a dumb joke. And yeah, I get it, I'm criticizing a kids movie for being a bit too childish at times, but seeing how mature the movie can take itself while not letting go of the spirit of what made the first movie good, then obviously the comedy isn't the part of the franchise that holds this whole thing together. This actually makes me want Pixar to drop the pretense of animated films being comedies and take a fully dramatic narrative, but nope, because Disney. The movie thoroughly surprised me in the fact that I walked out of the theater with genuine joy, and I'm glad that Pixar is starting to regain their identity, albeit slowly and still in ways that can make a buttload of money through merchandising. This gets an 8 out of 10. Hey guys, thanks for watching! If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe! If you want to see more reviews, then click the playlist to see my other stupid opinions. Alright, see you next video!